corn tortillas are so delicious and you can use them in so many ways. And yes, you can find good ones at the store, but they are so much better when you make them at home. I'm gonna show you a foolproof method of how to make them puff. Because if you make them puff, you are making sure that they are soft, pliable, irresistible. You are also going to be able to make one of the most amazing breakfasts, a corn tortilla egg nest. We start with two and a half cups of masa harina, a quarter teaspoon of salt, one and two thirds of a cup of warm water. Then I'm just going to go around and knead until it's all incorporated. I'm splitting this up into 16 pieces. I have my comal set at medium heat. I have two rounds of plastic. So you grab the masa, you roll it with your hands. You're gonna put your first piece of plastic on the bottom of the press. And then you put the ball of masa and then you add the next layer of plastic. Then you press down. You wanna get a tortilla that's about an eighth of an inch in thickness. You press that middle, then you check, and you see how pretty it's looking. It's so pretty. And then you press down a little more until you get a tortilla that's about five inches. You remove the plastic, and then you get close to the heat source because you have to place your tortilla on your comal in a swift move. So remove the plastic and then just add it to the comal. I'm gonna wait for about a minute. See how the color changed? Like dunes in the desert? That's what you want for the first flip. For the second flip, you wanna give it like 90 seconds. You want it to now be a little bit toasted. You don't wanna flip it too soon because if you do the second flip while it's still this light in color, then by the time you flip it again, it's not gonna puff. Trust me on that, that is the secret. See? And then you just wait for it to puff. See how it beautifully puffed? We're going to make an egg nest in the puff of that tortilla. I'm gonna crack an egg. I'm gonna season it with salt and pepper. Once it puffs, I'm gonna grab the tortilla. You have to cut a little hole where it puffed and you have to do it when the tortilla is puffing because if you take out the tortilla from the comal once it puffs, the tortilla sides will stick to each other again. Now I'm gonna put the egg that I cracked in here and then you put it on the comal. This one is looking good. I can peek in here and see that the egg white is fully cooked and the yolk is just like I like it. I'm going to do an egg nest montado. So when you put a sunny side of egg on top of rice, it's called a huevo montado, or it translates to an egg that is riding the rice. So I have my rice, and then I'm adding my egg nest right on top. You can peek in there and see how cute that is. I want tomatillo salsita, a little bit of crema, queso fresco, some avocado. Look at that, un huevo montado en arroz. And I'm gonna cut into it. Oh, the tortilla got crispy on the bottom. Mind exploding, this is so good. You have the rice that has all the vegetables and that tomato base, and then you have the tortilla that has the crunchy parts in the bottom, it's really soft on top, and then the eggs right in the middle. What a meal. This is Mexican comfort food at its best. 